Right, how much is Robert Downey Jr. getting paid to return for Marvel? A lot. Same as the Russo brothers. A hell of a lot. And interestingly, they have, I think, in this article with Variety, revealed a, a, a key element is that basically Robert Downey Jr. is kind of like, he's one and done. As in, he's going to be in these movies and then he is done. Uh, which makes a lot of sense. I mean, we'll see if that pans out, but it's the dialogue, it's the sort of rhetoric that you're hearing in this article that seemingly indicates that. It's a fan fantastic article. It's really, really quite interesting. And it goes into, uh, I guess, just the degree of desperation that Marvel is feeling. Uh, so much so that they are spending a hell of a lot of money getting Robert Downey Jr. and the Russo brothers back into the Marvel fold. This is what they genuinely hope will kickstart them back to success. So let's take a look. Uh, it's it's fascinating. It really is. Uh, it's it's absolutely extraordinary, extraordinarily high amounts of money. <laughs> uh, behind Robert Downey Jr. and the Russo brothers' mega Avengers paydays, it's not it's, it's not a small amount. <laughs> it's not a small amount. So it says this after after a bruising year, Marvel is returning to the very things that worked in the past. That means reuniting with franchise crown jewel Robert Downey Jr., as well as the Russo brothers, who directed the two most successful movies for the studio with Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. But bringing back key members of the old gang won't come cheap. Sources say that Marvel is plunking down $80 million for Anthony and Joe Russo to direct Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. So, $80 million just for the directors, right? That's a lot for, you know, what $20 million a, a $20 million a director per movie, right? It's a lot of money. But even more, even more, significantly more is the quote for Downey. Significantly more than $80 million for two movies. What, $100 million? You get $50 million a movie? What is it? What is he getting paid? It is outrageous. So, the speculation that it's desperate from Marvel, desperation to bring him back, it absolutely is, unequivocally. Of course it is. Now, again, it's not to say that it could not, it might not be good, but you could, you get any actor to play Doctor Doom. You get any actor to play Doctor Doom. You're doing this because you know, or you hope at the very least, that Robert Downey Jr. will be a draw. That's why you're investing that amount of money because you believe he will be a draw. And it is desperation to spend that much money. If you were like super, super sure, you'd be like, yeah, we'll just get anyone because our story stands stands on its own. Crazy. Significantly more than $80 million for Robert Downey Jr. to uh, be Doctor Doom in two movies. Just two movies. Again, the rhetoric, the dialogue, the, the sort of context of the language there is he's, he's, he's in two movies. Seemingly just two movies. So the Russo's deal doesn't include back-end compensa compensation. Wow. So they get even more money. Madness. But it does contain performance escalators that kick in at the $750 million and $1 billion thresholds. The brothers also will produce the two films via the Agbo banner, and that marks something of a departure for Marvel, which typically doesn't work with outside producers, preferring to keep the team in-house, which makes sense. Um, now, check this out. For Downey who helped catapult Marvel into a money-printing machine, thanks to his turn as Tony Stark in the first Iron Man film in 2008. His deal also is filled with perks that include a private jet, dedicated security, and what's this? A whole trailer encampment. Why does he need an encampment? What the fuck? <laughs> like, what? For the newly minted Oscar winner because he was in Oppenheimer. That's madness. According to one knowledgeable source, Downey is by far the highest paid member of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and has pulled down between 500 million and 600 million over the course of four Avengers movies. What? Three Iron Man cameo, uh, three Iron Man outings and cameos in The Incredible Hulk, Captain America Civil War and Spider-Man Homecoming. 600 million dollars. For, what is that? Seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, for ten movies. $600 million, sorry, for, for Ted. That's, that's crazy. Still, some changes are in order. While the Russo brothers' previous two Avengers films shot... Now, this is the, this is the real clincher, by the way. Um, 
Because they, they previously shot the Avengers movies in Atlanta. The new films will be filmed in London. Why is that? Why are they filming it in London, ladies and gents? That's because they can take advantage of the 25.5% kickback that they get. 25 point, a quarter of the production budget. Disney's basically moving everything to um, the UK. And they do this, again, they're only doing this, solely doing this, because of that tax rebate. It's not even a tax rebate. Like, it's a fund. So, however much money they spend over the course of the production, they get 25.5% of that back. Just because. That's... that. What? 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 That's crazy. Although Marvel had become the most dominant brand in cinema over its first 30 films, it began to show cracks in 2023, with a ho-hum Ant-Man sequel that brought in just $476 million worldwide, coupled with a disastrous The Marvels, which barely cleared the $200 million mark globally. Adding to the angst on the Burbank lot, the entire future Avengers arc that centred on villain Kang had to be scrapped uh, because of jo Jonathan Major's legal troubles. Uh, which is just crazy. So in short order, director Destin Daniel Cretton exited Avengers Kang Dynasty. Variety previously reported in a cover story on the studio's woes that Marvel was considering pivoting from Kang to Doctor Doom as Major's problems mounted and that Chief Kevin Feige was keen to bring back Downey, who will segue from his Broadway debut in Ayad Akhtar's Menial uh, in the fall to pre-production on Avengers in the new year. Sources say Downey, who's rep by WME, agreed to return to the MCU if the Russos. So he even had, he was like, all your directors have been shit, mate. Your films, again, this is another reason, right? You could get anyone. If you believed in what you were doing, you'd just get anyone. You would. Now, it's not to say it's not good, right? This is still a good sign because it's, hey, maybe we'll get some good stuff. I still don't think that we will. But Downey Jr. is like, no, you want me to come back? You, you pay me like $100 million or whatever. You pay them like however much as well. And they also have to come back. Like, yeah, he's making some demands and he's doing that because he knows that the sink has been shim uh, the ship has been sinking. Um, and he says that they were the only ones he would work with, a source familiar with the deal-making says. Which is crazy. I mean, it's not crazy. It makes sense. Um, and they say Downey and Russo reteaming is a perfect combination of timing and everyone being on the same page. I doubt it. I, I, like, I absolutely 100% doubt it. But there you go, look. Robert Downey Jr., significantly more than $80 million for two movies. Holy shit. I mean, look, if you can get it, eating's good, hey? I'd, I'd get it if I could. That's madness. That's crazy. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.